real health fanatic of the family and you're vegetarian and you're really conscious of putting really good things into your body. I know that about you. That's correct. Because usually when I pick a restaurant, he's like, I'm not going out with you tonight. Sorry, Carolyn. <laughs> I mean, we're all we're all health conscious, but I, I'm getting it. You're master, like the king of it. I'm getting so. masters in nutrition. Yeah. So, so you're yes. so when when I hear from you that this is something I should have in my garden, I totally believe it. So we're yes. going to talk about hardy goji berries. These were extremely popular last year from Roberta's. Mm -hmm. We have them back this year with our only quantity of the season. Now, when you look at um, the health. Uh, supplement aisle of your store or when you go to a store that sells lots of healthy things and organic things um, you often see goji berry as one of the ingredients because do, it's yeah. a really great supplement for your body it's a very healthy berry in fact mm -hmm. it has more vitamins and nutrition than most things you'd be surprised like per weight for mm -hmm. spinach versus goji berries. Uh -huh. Goji berries has more protein wow. and more iron. I did not know so that. So it's a considered a superfood. Yes, it is. Well, I did know that. So you can grow your own goji berries now and get tons of mm -hmm. them. This is the biggest size of goji berry plant that we have at QVC. Uh, it's on easy pay till the end of the day. And of course you get free shipping. So tell me about what I'm getting and how do I plant this? So yeah, this might so, be something new for a lot of people. Yeah, because goji, it, think of, you know, you got raspberries, blackberries, Mm -hmm. uh, you can grow cherries. There's lots of berries you can grow. This is a thornless winter hardy berry bush that produces very sweet and succulent fruits that taste like a mix between a raisin and a cherry. Okay. And you get tons of them for about two and a half months every year. Okay. Uh, starting in July. And there's so many wonderful things that you can do with them. Fresh, dried we can go over that but I want to show you in the garden what they look yeah, like take a look now these are awesome in America because there are varieties that come from places like the Himalayan mountains where okay. it's super cold mm -hmm. hot in the summer so these can handle all of our climactic conditions you can see here first they start off with these beautiful dainty little purple flowers and then those turn into these bright red goji berries and you can eat them fresh I like to dry mine, which essentially means putting them on a cookie sheet okay. and then just leaving the sun for like half a day. Okay. And then I can add it to things like granola. And you can see here, this is the form that you'd usually find them at the grocery store mm -hmm. and they're super expensive, crazy expensive. Oh, I'm, sh I'm sure. Like I are. never buy goji berries from the store because they're yeah. so expensive. One bag is like, you know, a hundred million dollars, but you can grow them a massive bounty in your own backyard easily every year and they come back year after year now i will say of everything in the show this is what's growing in my garden yes and i actually got them from roberta's um kind of a behind the scenes because court said hey we're going to try something new next year try these in your garden so mm -hmm. i've had them for like four years now yeah a few years and they are so hardy through every winter they come back they get big you can trim them back if you need to but they do produce tons of berries every year and they're actually a very beautiful like a shrub plant that yeah. has like almost like a a willow tree shape yes, where they exactly. get branches that kind of hang down so they're mm -hmm. very very pretty and the leaves are kind of variegated i think they're a nice plant yeah what do you want to say what do i want to say well you know something that we like to do at our uh that my mom likes to do she's a excellent cookie maker uh -huh. so whenever i i always request her to make chocolate chip cookies with some goji berries in it oh. and it gives that, that nice little tartness and it's delicious with like chocolate like a cherry raisin Absolutely. in yeah. there with your chocolate chips yeah. i like that that's all i it's wanted a good to say idea. Oh, yeah we like that does your little brother always bug you like oh, that? Yeah. I always bug him. <laughs> and my sister. But this is what you get home. It's in a big half gallon pot. Okay. You know, it's the biggest size we've offered. We started bringing them this size only last year. Mm -hmm. And so you're going to get fruit this year. And I want to show you some of the ideas that you okay. can do at home because All right. it's very Come versatile. Around. I mean, think I'm of it just like a regular over. berry, essentially. Okay. You know, these cookies you can't see, but inside mm. there's goji berries. We have some goji jam with some goji scones. There's Yum. goji berry uh, granola here, as well as oatmeal. And this is like a smoothie? It's a smoothie with goji, strawberries, and bananas. Can I try some oatmeal? Please. Okay. And it might not be hot. I made it like oh, 20 oh, minutes I ago. Don't, no, it feels hot on the bottom. And then, you know, we have a, a stack of just dried berries, which is awesome. I mean, this right here is so special mm. because inside, mm, inside the, it is, right? Inside mm -hmm. a goji berry, mm -hmm. it's packed full of so many vitamins mm. and minerals that by some of the um, you know mm. foremost nutritionists mm -hmm. in the world, they consider goji berries to be one of the healthiest foods that you can eat. Mm -hmm. And there's so many benefits you can look up on online. Um, yes, we just showed it. John asked if we showed the shipping sample. We'll show it again. 
Um, look at these images. I will say, most of the things in this show are annuals, correct? Yes, but this is a this perennial. This is a perennial. This comes back every year, and it gets bigger every year, and it fills in gaps uh, in your garden. It's absolutely beautiful. And it's and thornless. It's thornless and filled with berries, which means birds will come around. Birds love it. Um, if you like critters in the garden. Yeah. Um, but again, you get tons of goji berries and enough to share with your birdie well, friends. Well, and you can see there, that's plenty enough for a few that's finches. That's what mine look like now. A few beetles and then your family, you know? <laughs> so. But seriously, this is a great plant. And you get tons of berries, too many that you'll know what to do with, but that's okay. Yeah, I let a lot of them just them drop. Too. So 2612, only Here, we'll quantities of the again. season, this and is this what is you what get you home. get. And this grows very fast, Eric. It is a very fast bush. You mm -hmm. are very right. And you don't need any support or anything. I mean, it kind of like mm -hmm. flops over in a nice way. It's like a trailing, standing It's like a weeping, bush, like a, think thing. of it like a weeping willow tree, but it's a shrub. Yep. And that's what it's it grows like. So, and it doesn't matter if you trim it, it just, it's happy. It grows back.